Today on the North American Journeyman, we play our two most fierce rivals in the league, and we've had the draw for the Champions Cup. So, as you can see, we did lose a game, but things have gone fairly well for us in the closing stage, getting things underway here. Santa Ana is not one of the good teams, but they smashed us 3-0 because we were just a little complacent. But we're still top of the table. They're in second place, and they're not, like I said, one of the good teams. Apparently they're the worst team in the league. A couple things have changed. The transfer window just closed. We bought two players from Saprisa. Here's what happened. We wanted to buy their one of their right backs. It didn't look too good. It, the scouting, it was this guy, Kiros, in the bottom of my short list here. These are all the Costa Ricans I'm taking a look at. It said he was about four-star potential, and that's just gone down the more I've looked at it. We actually put the bid in to trigger the release fee. It was 600, and then we offered him a contract. He's a right back, because our right backs just haven't been cutting it for us. And he's got 11 caps. He's 20. I'm like, you know, this guy can fill in. But then he just accepted Saprisa's contract offer instead of tr transferring to us. So I said, okay, well, you know what? We're just going to buy one of your best players and one of your best uh, wonder kids. I don't know if he's a wonder kid, but he's he's pretty good. So we just went and bought Ellie and Quesada Thorne, who I've been keeping an eye on. We almost brought in the TLH Rangers. He's now played for all three of the big Costa Rican clubs already on out. Was at Arsenal, Saprissa. And we just triggered his release fee, which is about the same as the other guy, but he's a better player, and I'm training him on the right. He doesn't really have a right foot, but he's been by far our best right back. So he's on our biggest wage, but he's 23, and he's kind of a boss. Doesn't like big matches, kind of bothers me. And then on deadline day, I didn't know if I was going to go in for it, but we decided to splash the cash because this guy was in my scouting report just as A-plus the entire time. Roberto Mongi. Manga? Minge? He's... Eh, he's okay. For the money that we spent, I'm a little bit kind of concerned that he might not quite make the grade, but apparently his potential is really high. He's pretty well-rounded. He he's playing that deep-lying playmaker. He's 18, so I'd like to get him a bunch of game time and see just how good we can make this guy. There's one other guy I'm keeping an eye on that I'd really like to go in for. There's Danny and Daniel Gonzalez. One of them plays for Saprisa. He's one of their best players. He's pretty solid. But this one, Danny Gonzalez, we let it slip. He escaped the league. He's at Atlanta in Mexico. And he's got a $3 million release clause. He doesn't really want to come here because he just signed for them from Santos. But this guy looks pretty good. And if they Atlanta gets relegated in Mexico, then he'd have a relegation release clause of $1.5 million. So I'm hoping that happens because Atlanta is the worst team in Mexico. By a distance, it looks like. They're not in last place, though. I think it's based on the overall table. They won their last couple games, so they've they've made a little bit of a jump. But if that happens, I think he'll want to leave, and we can bring him back in. But we have had the draw for the Champions Cup. So we'll just look at just the whole tree. The top half is probably the heftier half, and we're in the bottom. Pumas are the defending champions. Already on us here, playing Toluca. Let's see, we've got Saprisa playing New York City. We play the winner of Tijuana and New York 
or excuse me, York United FC, who probably won't beat Tijuana from the Canadian Premier League. And TLH Rangers, they won the Caribbean Cup again. They're down here. We could potentially meet them in the quarters if we get through. But Club America, they're the, I think, second best team in Mexico. It's another game. In Estadio Azteca, I'll take the money, but that'll be a tough one. But Tijuana's who we're probably going to meet in the round of 16, and they're not great. So we might have a chance here, but... Anyways, we've got our two rivalry games today, so let's go ahead and get going. I got the kit on. We're ready to keep this thing moving in the right direction. We've been Saprisa's father in the past couple performances, so we got the full team. This is the best team. I'm putting them all out there. I think we're ready to go. Let's just, just, just launch in, make it happen. Do it for the fans. They love it. They're all about it. Form's been a little bit okay. Some of the players coming into their own, some of them kind of taking dips. We just gotta, it's like they've changed their system up quite a bit. Playing some youngsters as well. I'm gonna scout them up while we're here. See if there's any other players we want to snag. We already know about this guy. Yeah, we've weakened them a bit. They're not. They're not as good this season. They're struggling in the table too. I think both them and Herediano. Yeah, fifth and sixth. Let's see if we can beat the rivals today. <laughs> Packed stands. You love to see it. Near post header, can we get it away? Falls to Ramirez, though. Solis lets it in. He has been improving a bit. Solis, though, so that's that's good news, but... Back to his old tricks there. Mario's got to win that header. Somebody's got to step up, too. Torres. He's not very defensive, Torres. I think he's got, like, two tackling. Since they're doing what they're doing, we're going to do this. I'd like to get back to this action, too. I changed that to take long kicks a little while back. But I think I'm going to go back to working it out of the back a little bit more. I don't like playing out of the back too much with this team, though, because the center backs don't have good passing and vision. Far post header, so at least lets that one in for Roan Wilson. We're down 2-0. Well, we did make those signings. I'd say that they haven't made us, haven't improved us at all. But Quesada Thorne has been an improvement on the right back position. He's not playing great today. And we decided to register Pinuelas and unregister the guy on loan from Real Madrid, even though he's been playing right up until the transfer window. And then I said, okay, we'll give him game time. But it doesn't look like he wants to come here. His contract is running out. Real Madrid has the extension for a year on that center back. But he's first he said he didn't want to come here because of infrastructure. And now he's saying that he just would never want to come here ever again. Good from Salazar. to Pat Tries to cross it in. Nobody, though. Highlight's still going, though, if we can do something here. Mario, it's on the left. Cuts inside, crosses in Pinuelas, heads it over the bar. That's probably the main position we're looking to strengthen in the offseason, is center back. Alvarez, I'm hoping he picks up a Costa Rican second nationality just to help us out with registration. Yeah, this is bad. Unacceptable. I'm disappointed. And Salazar, he's not been great. I think he's shown his ceiling, kind of. He's not going to improve much. He's only 20, but you can tell he's already like... The first half of this season was about the best he's ever going to play. He's probably going to score more than 40 goals for us this season, but... I mean, this is not... We need to... 
use the space here. Go attacking as well. They haven't done much, but they have all the possession. They're just, they're overrunning us in the midfield. That's what it feels like. Our wide players are just not doing it today. Torres, 6.4. That's that's a good take from Neves, though. Salazar, can he slip somebody through? Mario, there's numbers in the middle. But just nobody wants to play a ball. There we go. That's got to be a tackle. No, they slipped it through to Ramirez, though. And now we might be in trouble. So we had our opportunity, and now they're on the attack again. Gonzalez is he onside? Solis makes the save at least. He was onside. We gotta make some changes. This is just horrendous. Montenegro. David's not doing it. We'll bring in Hall. It's gonna do for now. Crossed in. Can we get it away? We can, but we can't maintain possession. Still at the top of the table if this result holds. I feel like we can grab a goal, though. Just need to pick up the pace a little bit. Let's go. Gonzalez has been playing great, but... We're actually going to try and move into, you know what we might try and do? A little bit of this action. I haven't really used this formation much. Now would be the time to do it, I guess. Gonzalez isn't playing good. Fortunately, first time in a while he hasn't played well. Okay, Sada Thorne's playing bad too. I might take Neves out. We'll just try the formation switch. Open the game up even more. Try and come back against the rivals. We've only lost two games ever. Quesada Thorn goes down, earns the penalty on it. I thought he was going to take it first time. Instead, takes the foul. Salazar, Mr. Inconsistent from the penalty spot, but he scores that one. There we go. Keep it going. Hoping to inflate his ratings and goals scored a little bit. But we can grab one more. I take the draw. There we go. Get that tackle in. Don't let him just drive through. Oh, they got so many numbers in the midfield. We should get this, though. Gonzalez, he's, he's really not playing good today. He should have got that one. Ramirez is through the tackle. No, it falls to Rodriguez. And the youngster scores it. All right, we're just going to make some changes here. We'll bring in Yara. We're going to go back to this. We're not going to get a result today. He's actually training the Mez now because Mongi is playing the deep line playmaker. Everybody's frustrated. Everybody's upset. We'll bring in Contreras. I got the faith. This one's just about dead, but... Losing to our rivals here. Maybe we force them into the tactical change, and now they're going to make us pay for it. Although we took a right back... Or a left back, rather. Their best left back and a center midfielder. So it feels like they've just... Increase the number of players in the midfield. But we go down to Saprissa, three to one. Hopefully, we can play a little bit better. I mean, XG says we outplayed them, but you know what XG is. We had none of the possession, and that's usually kind of our MO. So, unacceptable. I'm disgusted. I don't know if I'm disgusted, but it wasn't good. Torres, you weren't good. You weren't good. You deserve to come off. You weren't at your best. 
You weren't at your best. Solis, not good enough. Quesada Thorn, not happy. You had a chance to score a header. Yeah, just a bad all-around performance. It happens. It's a little bit tighter in the table this go-around. I think that's just kind of how it goes in the closing stage. We're going to do a little bit of... We're going to match review it. I'll just keep you here. It's only two days away till the next game. Um, oh, this center back who's been on me all season long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not a story here. Don't worry about it. Herediano's up next. I do want to switch up the tactic a little bit. I think we can drop this off a little bit. And we'll get rid of this. Maybe even drop the tempo back to what we're used to. Work the ball in the box. It's time to get this tactic. Grease the wheels of this tactic exactly how we want it for the Champions Cup. Because I want to be able to get possession. But Arantes is looking good. And he's getting games for him. That's good signs. This guy could actually... I'm going to say he could potentially solve our center back issues, but he's got five heading. And that's probably not going to improve, but he's looking pretty good for a D mid out on loan. All right, hopefully we can grab the win here because that performance was not great. They're playing that 4-4-2. Kevin Gonzalez is tired. He played like crap. Suarez is coming back into fitness. Um, let's see. Alvarez can probably come out. I'm actually going to change up both center backs. We're going to play the, the youngster that I called back in from loan. Called Aron. He was at Herrera, no, Punta Arenas. He's pretty decent. He's got some potential, I guess. He's 19. Uh, Quesada Thorn didn't play good. We'll bring in Martinez. Jorge Torres hasn't played good, but Montenegro's on a slide in, in form, too. This position has been iffy for me all year. Neves and Toch. Yeah, we'll play, we'll play the best team we have, basically. We'll start Hall this game, though. David hasn't played great. That'll work. Can we beat one of our two rivals today? I want an improvement. That's all I'm saying. Improve. Maybe soon we make the change, the assistant coach, because eventually he's not getting rehired, my assistant coach. He's like average, below average. But I'm going to make Brian Ruiz the assistant. And I might do that sooner rather than later, to be honest. Ooh, Mario's in tons of space. Scores it. Beautiful. Working the free kick goal. The board will like that. They want us to do good and set piece opportunities, and that's that's looking pretty good. That's another coach that could definitely be improved is the set piece coach. Good to see a goal from Mario. He's definitely our assist leader this season. Playing on the right wing, he's a beast. He's got a minimum fee release clause, too, that I probably need to worry about getting rid of. Calm header back from Hall. You love to see it from an 18-year-old, little golf clap in the crowd. They even do that in Costa Rica, by the way. I think they do. I think that's a that's a world that's a international language that everybody does the golf clap for the header back. Totch, what can he do? We're just we open him up a little pass into one of the center midfielders, and it's like which player pick a pick a player out from our top three. They're all making runs. Ball over the top. Torres, can he cross it in? Salazar, nice. Slam dunks the header. Didn't think he was going to have it there. He doesn't have a bunch of height. Doesn't score a lot of goals with his head, but that was a pretty one. This is a nice ball from Neves. Boom. Torres, first time. That's just, that's just beautiful. That's what we come to expect. Let's see, Saprice is playing Santos. 
Yeah, Municipal Grecia, who's in the Champions Cup. Santa Ana's kind of the surprising upstart, is losing to Grecia. Who is the other team actually in Alajuela, the province? Definitely a newer team. I forget what year, in the 90s maybe, or maybe even 2000s. That's a close shot from Bran. The other team, if you're not all about, you know, cheering for the big teams, then you could cheer for Municipal Grecia. This is solid. 70% possession, that's what we're coming to expect. That's what I'd like to see. Rediano still got some good players. I think they bought this Kenneth Vargas from Saprisa, actually, in the last transfer window. They did. He's made the rounds, too. His second stint there. We, or was he on loan? No, Saprisa bought him. And they've just loaned him back. Oh, that's interesting. They bought him for a million. And said, nah, we're changing formations. They're rich, so they can kind of do that kind of stuff. More rich than we are. Looks like Torres picked up a bit of a knock. Yeah, I'm happy with the possession compared to last game. Potential lower leg injury and he's hampered. Well, we can't have you hampered. Hall's not doing it. Maybe we might need to change this position, complete wing back. Because lately they're just not getting as involved. Defensive corner. Out to the top of the box, though. Torres drives in. Low down cross. Please clear that. Okay, thank you. Dodgy moments there, but we hang on. Sprees is winning, so they're back up to third. So they're really not struggling, but Arediano's down into seventh now. All right, Hall, you're going to play a 6.4. You're coming out for sure. That's not acceptable. Neves is on a yellow. We'll bring Mong. Bring the Mong in. I haven't decided how I want to say his name. Roberto. Mongi? How would you say it? How would you say this guy's name? There's a couple of them. I think there's a coach with that same name, too, in Costa Rica. All right, we're, are we struggling to close this thing out? I really hope that's not the case. That's unfortunate. We're going to balance. Bring Montenegro in. He's not doing good. Yeah, the left side. It's left side issues. That's what we're having issues with right now is left side. So how do we fix that? By scoring more goals. That's how we fix that. Let's go. The header? No. We can recycle thing here through Mongi. Come on, Mongi. What can you do? Make a nice pass. Good. Suarez takes a shot off the post. Or maybe the crossbar. Maybe it hit the exact corner. Highlight goes on, though. Navarro through. Okay, good. Let's make some more subs here. Mario's doing good. Toch might be a little tired. Bring in Yara. Or it's probably Hara, to be honest, but... We're going to do this. Changing it all up. Oh, what just happened there? Well, we're bringing Toch off anyways, but... Free kick goal, maybe? I think Montenegro's the guy who likes to bosh these. It's going to be Salazar. Is, oh, we don't even get to see it? It's getting excited there. Oh, we need to hang on. Is Sabrisa still winning? They are. Here we go. Third goal. Seal the game. David plays it back to Contreras for some reason. David, another penalty? Nope. Oh, 
I don't mind that ball if Suarez latches onto it. Can he find a cross or finish it himself? Plays it back to Montenegro. Perfect spot. Three to one. There we go. Good stuff. Let's just close this thing out a little bit. Good. Montenegro needed that for his confidence and his ratings have been tanking lately. So we'll take that. Calderon played good. I'd like to see that from the 19-year-old center back in a rivalry game. Attack on a fourth. Ooh, I thought that was going in. Good save there from their goalkeeper. Wasting time. You love to see the wasting time in the highlight. Shows that they're listening to you just a little bit. That should be their goalkeeper. Flaps at it, but we can't make them pay. Cartagena is struggling. They in last. <sighs> Santos has two points. Okay, we got the win over the rival. Good win. Not any real outstanding performances. We might need to make some tactical tweaks, though, in the league. We're still doing good. We're still three points clear at the top. Saprissa did get the win, so they're climbing back up into it. Probably going to make it. We got 12 more games, though. Torres gashed his leg. But we will come back for the Champions Cup knockout round. I think the first round is on like the 13th, so it's probably going to be against Tijuana. And that'll be a two-legged tie. And let's see if we can make a Champions Cup run. Because I think this team has the potential, especially against Tijuana. Club America might be a different story, but you never know. CONCACAF Champions Cup, you never know what's going to happen. The board wants me to be competitive. I'm not sure what that means. That might even just be competitive. I think challenges like make the semifinals and be competitive is like probably make this round of 16, which we're already there. Maybe... The Elite Eight. Does anybody know what that is? Outside of America, Elite Eight. Anyways, the quarterfinals. Or the, whatever you'd call it, round of eight. What is it called? I'm, am I embarrassing myself right now? Does that have a name? I always just call it the Elite Eight. Quarterfinal, yeah. Yeah, quarterfinal. It doesn't really make sense if you think about it. Doesn't quarter mean four? Anyways, we're not going to go into that right now. I'm just going to make myself look stupid. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Next time, we will see you in the CONCACAF Champions Cup with our favorite boys, Liga. Thanks again. We'll see you.